The impeachment net is getting wider right now. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo was on that president's phone call with Ukraine. The House has given him a Friday deadline to turn over documents. The president's lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, is also facing a new subpoena in the impeachment inquiry. Attorney General William Barr has traveled overseas to ask foreign governments to help investigate the origins of the Russian investigation. And all this as President Trump is targeting his accusers, hoping to reveal the whistleblower's identity. Our senior congressional correspondent, Mary Bruce, starts us off from Capitol Hill. She has all the latest on all that. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Robin. Well, this impeachment inquiry has only been underway for a week, but it is swiftly gaining momentum. Democrats are now zeroing in on some of the president's closest allies. As this morning, there are now new questions about whether the president may have used his office for political gain. This morning, the pressure is heating up on President Trump's inner circle. ABC News has learned that Trump's Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, was listening in on that July phone call between Trump and the Ukrainian president, the call at the center of the impeachment inquiry. The revelation comes after Pompeo told our Martha Raddatz he didn't know about the whistleblower report of that call. And I want to turn to this whistleblower complaint, Mr. Secretary, the complaint involving the president and a phone call with a foreign leader to the director of national intelligence inspector general. What do you know about those conversations? So you just gave me a report about a IC whistleblower campaign, not, none of which I've seen. Congressional investigators have already subpoenaed Pompeo for documents amid questions about the State Department's role and whether the agency gave instructions to the president's personal lawyer, Rudy Giuliani. To the best of my knowledge and from what I've seen so far, uh, each of the actions that were undertaken by State Department officials was entirely appropriate. Democrats also issuing a subpoena Monday to Giuliani, seeking documents about his efforts to push Ukraine to investigate Trump's political rivals. Overnight, Giuliani, not sure if he'll comply. I don't know. I'm, I'm weighing the alternatives. I'm, I'll kind of like go through it. I'll get all my evidence together. I'll get my charts. And while the impeachment inquiry is squarely focused on Trump's call to the president of Ukraine, this morning there are new questions about whether the president has used his office for personal political gain in other instances too. ABC News confirming the president recently asked the Australian prime minister to help his attorney general, Bill Barr, dig into the origins of the Mueller investigation, which Trump has long claimed was a political hit job, a theory widely debunked by the U.S. intelligence community. In a statement, the White House says the DOJ simply requested that the president provide introductions to facilitate that ongoing inquiry, and he did so. That's all. And we've learned Barr himself was in Italy just last week meeting with senior officials there. That trip also part of the Justice Department's ongoing investigation of the Mueller probe. Democrats are not happy about it. The attorney general really is functioning more as the president's personal attorney than as the chief law enforcement officer in the United States. Now, as Democrats ramp up their investigation, the president is ramping up his attacks against the whistleblower. Trump says he deserves to meet his accuser, but the whistleblower's attorney says that his client is entitled to anonymity and that retaliating against this person would be a violation of federal law. George. Okay, Mary, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.